so today is Friday, January 1st, and we'll do a kilometer check on the TBR7. 8,113 kilometers. So last night I took the TBR7 to Pizza Hut, and I had to park in the parking lot, just like this with the helmet on the mirror. And I'm standing outside Pizza Hut because you can't go inside, and then I just hear a big bang. Easy. So I hear a big bang and I look over and there's a white Mark IV Jetta where my bike was parked. And I run over and the bike's on the ground, the helmet's on the ground, and you can see the damage here. The handguards are all busted off. Last night this was so broken and pushed over, the throttle was stuck. I had to bend it back out just so I could get home. It doesn't look like there's any other damage on this side except right here on the box. That's all new, where it hit the parking lot. So when my bike tips over, the only things that really hit the ground are the box and the handlebars. The whole side of the bike's protected. And on this side, there really isn't any damage. So on my helmet, there's a little scrape there and there. And those are the only scrapes on the helmet, so that must be where it hit the ground. Honestly, this one was already broken off. That's why it has all the JB Weld on it. And it needed to be JB Welded on again, so I'm not going to blame the lady for that. It looked like there was a blue mark on her trunk. And it had to either be up here on the fender. Like all this white right here. Because there's no white on this side. So she hit it like that, or at the handguard here. So the lady gave me $50, and that's pretty fine with me. I don't really care about the handguards. I'll be able to fix that. We're going to go get a screwdriver, pull it out, straighten it out. And we don't have any more JB Weld. We'll have to get some more of that. But we'll fix it no problem, and you won't even notice it. And so yesterday I went and got the JB Weld to fix the handguards. I'm going to have to straighten this screw a little bit. Well, that didn't work. I tried bending it back, and it just broke the screw. So we'll have to get another screw on this side. And we'll work this one back out. So I got the old bolt out. I went and got a new one, 75 cents. So we're gonna put this in. And then once we get it screwed down, we'll just bend the plastic back in place and see if it fits. So I got the hand guards JB welded back on. Pretty much perfect, like you could never even tell. So I let the JB weld dry overnight. Here's the old screw that came with the TBR7 hand guards. I got that out. Went to the hardware store, grabbed another 10 millimeter bolt. Slap the JB Weld on there. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look horrible, and it's perfectly secure. So the kilometers at the start of this video, I don't remember what they were, but now we got 8,176. So I rode it all the way to get the JB Weld and stuff with the handguards just flapping in the breeze. Nothing happened, so it's perfectly fine. They'll hold on there. The TBR7's been running fine ever since we got the new battery, so we'll probably clean it up today, detail it maybe change the spark plug. So that's not bad, it only cost about $5 for the JB Weld and $0.75 cents for the bolt, so I made about $40 letting some lady back into my bike and run it over. Not bad. It doesn't look perfect, but it's fine. You wouldn't know it unless I told you, really. So using the Jeep as an example, if that were the VW that hit my car, it was something like this, where her right rear corner backed into the handguard, and then the whole bike just kept tipping. So, 